was so kind-hearted athletes thank you very very much for clicking this video lots of love and respect to yourself you see it's because of good souls like yourself that we here believe we can be able to unite all athletes by spreading love peace forgiveness honesty and generally good vibes to all humans across the whole world and we do this together by reacting to very many videos videos that uh, will make you think reality you see all the intentions of trying to understand how different humans live and think in different parts of the world wonderful so hit the like button and join me till the end every bit you see without forgetting to leave some comments there Straight out of Africa, I'm your good vibes host, Y311Hman with lots of good vibes. Let's dive in. Good vibes all the way. Hmm. This baby giraffe and baby hippo are meeting another species for the first time. And you can see at first they are a little bit scared of one another. Hmm. Oh, this is a fresh start, you see? And uh, an example of uh, humans, you see? With, despite their differences, uh, we should still love one another. And this newborn lamb is just happy to be here, you see? Because this is a good web spread. And it can be lovely the way we make it. By spreading love, man. Love you and thank you very much for clicking this video. Wow. You see this, this new dad who can't believe his eyes when he sees his babies for the first time. Oh, this is incredible, man. Home. Oh, this is wonderful. Hmm. This mother hedgehog gets angry when her owner sees her babies. Home. Oh, and it's like they are misunderstanding that maybe the owner wants just to spread love to the animals, you see? And just admire them because after all, all of these creatures are lovely and beautiful. All right, one more time. Here's how to calculate if you have a karmic debt number. Now, the karmic debt numbers are 13, 14, 16, and 19, okay? So if your number adds up to any of those, or if you were born on any of those days, you have a karmic debt number. If your number does not add up to those, you do not have a karmic debt number, which means that you are not repaying any major karmic debt in this lifetime. You are still repaying some karma, but nothing major where it like really rules your life. And if your number comes out to 11, 22, or 33, or you were born on the 11th or the 22nd, then you have a master number. The video explanations for karmic debt numbers and master numbers is in the playlist at the bottom of this video. Now to make this as simple as possible, make three columns, okay? This is gonna be your birth month. This is gonna be your birth day. And this is going to be your birth year. Okay? Keep them separate because I don't want y'all getting confused. So let's say we're going to use 12, 28, 2002. Okay? Want to do a different one other than the one that we did last time just so y'all can see. All right. So we put the month here, 12. Put the day here, 28. Put the year here, 2002. Okay? Okay? Now you want all of these numbers to be a single digit number so then you can add them all up at the end. So 12. So you basically do one plus two because that's one and two, right? One plus two equals three. So for your month, you got three. Two plus eight, two plus eight equals 10. But that is not a single digit number. So you just take the one because one plus zero equals one, right? So this is going to equal one. This is important because if you have a, a double digit right here, you need to reduce it down to one number. All of these should reduce down to one number, okay? Now for the year, you go two plus zero plus zero plus two, all right? So basically two plus two equals four, all right? Now you add all of these up. So three plus one plus four equals, and this is gonna come out to eight, 
All right, so th for this example, there is no karmic debt number. From this point, it does not matter if you get a double digit number, okay? So like, let's say your number came out to 24, that's fine. That means that you don't have any karmic debt. From here, you're not gonna simplify it. You would only do that if you're looking for your regular life path number. I'm not gonna confuse y'all and do that right here. This is just the karmic debt number. So this right here would mean there is no karmic debt. Whatever number you get, right here once again you do not need to simplify it to a single digit okay i hope that was clear hmm did you understand those mathematics did you guys know we were supposed to have a lunar eclipse yesterday um on march 25th it was supposed to begin sometime around 1 a.m well i stayed up just to capture this eclipse and it never happened telling you guys i've been watching the moon close for four years now something is definitely off with its orbit i've noticed it changing speeds going moving much slower than it should and at times also moving faster than it should but anyways i stayed up until 2 20 in the morning waiting for this eclipse to begin and it never and it never happened so what i did was i stayed up till about like i said 2 20 um, then I set my camera to record a two-hour time lapse in case it was just delayed or something like that. So I went on to bed, got up the next morning, checked the time lapse footage, nothing. Nothing, even nothing at all. A few clouds went by, that was it. No lunar eclipse, no blood moon, no nothing. I thought you guys said your model was good at making predictions. Y'all sure missed it on this one. But what we did have was a beautiful worm moon. A worm moon is the first full moon of the spring. Now I will say that the moon was extremely bright. I mean, it was so bright, I could not even stand to look at it through the lens of my telescope. I'm not sure I've ever seen the moon this bright before, but it definitely did not have an eclipse and while i'm at it i might as well go ahead and tell you the moon is not rusting it looks the same as it always has that was a stacked and heavily photoshopped image of the moon that was going viral the moon is not rusting and besides that the bible does not mention the moon rusting the bible was talking about blood moons occurring frequently in the end times it wasn't talking about the moon turning brown kid that captured that image even told you guys it was a stack of like 3,000 photos together so the more stacking and layering you do if there's even a hint of color or brown it gets extremely exaggerated and then like I said he obviously photoshopped it and turned the color saturation way up to make it look brown I can do the same thing but I don't see the point because that's not what the moon actually looks like but anyways, I just thought it was weird that they predicted a lunar eclipse on March 25th and it never happened. And I also think it's interesting that the book of Enoch, he says that in the last days, the moon will err and not come forth at its appointed time and that it would change its, its normal cycle and its orbit would, would be altered and it would be off its course. That's exactly what we're seeing, guys. Oh my god. Hmm. This is where those. We have two secret soulmates. And they sit 150 degrees apart from your own star sign. As in, they sit either side of your opposite star sign. So, say for example, you're in Aries. Opposite Aries is Libra. Either side of Libra is Scorpio and Virgo. And that is an example of how the secret soulmates work. It's, such, it's actually called a quincunx. Q-U-I-N-C-U-N-X. So you can have a little play around with that word today if you so desire. So yeah, a quincunx, 150 degrees apart from your own particular star sign. Sit your secret soulmates. And so it's a wonderful thing to discover because when I do the 12, some of you will be thinking... Oh my God, I married my soulmate. 
I married my secret soulmate. So that's just to introduce them. Upcoming will be 12 videos or little reels therein detailing who's are who's soulmates. We love a soulmate. Ciao. Ha! Ah, do you think that is possible? What the color of your aura means? A red aura means enthusiastic, powerful and vital. And all that uh, of the other colors. What is the color of your aura? Please tell us if you know, you see? And how do you know? First giant video was caught in Mexico. Oh my god. Second video in Kandahar. Don't know where that is. Red hair giant standing next to a tank. Wow. Look at this one. Oh, do you mean uh, those giants also have to dye their hair or something like that? Hmm. But they are just uh, born naturally with red hair. Do you even think this is really wonderful adjinx in the first place, you see? Please leave your thoughts. Hmm. Hey, this is some really creepy stuff, man. Hey, oh, if giants really exist uh, in modern times and they exist among us, why haven't we really ever seen them or heard about them, you see? Hmm. Please leave your thoughts, man. What do you think about all this story? You see, these videos are for entertainment purposes. We're spreading love to the whole world, you see? And if we see stuff here that uh, might uh, make you rethink what you know or what you believe, please uh, go and do your own research, you see? That way we'll even be able to help one another. And you'll come back with the, the, the feedback and uh, you got from the research, you see? That way we'll be able to learn from one another even through the comment section as you watch these videos, you see? Or what do you think all of that is? Today thanks to all those guys in the comment section, you see? You do some great work and I always wish the universe will reward you in credit boys. Ha! And then look at this. Oh, looks like some guy standing next to a tank. Why are these machines made? They knew who we were that we were the descendants of Jacob, and they knew Africa was the promised land. In the 15th century, there were forced conversions to Christianity, and in the year 1434, the Pope issued a bull threatening excommunication for the enslavement of Christian converts. However, in 1442, Pope Eugene, in response to a request from Prince Henry the Navigator of Portugal, issued a bull which declared Portuguese expeditions down the coast of Africa to be a crusade and allowed the taking of slaves in that endeavor. This marked the beginning of the European involvement in the slave trade, which they soon took from the Arabs, and it was those Arabs who told them that these are the people of the book. All invaders from that time have mapped Africa, which is the biblical Canaan and the promised land. The Catholic Church knew who we were, and now that Africa is waking up, we encourage them to obey God's word concerning the land so you can come up out of the curse. Hmm. That's interesting, man. Or what do you think? And then there's... Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Good, good people of Earth, did you see that? What just happened there? Hmm. Some glitch in the matrix or some time there was lost. What happened? This is creepy, man. Some uh, scary moments in football. Look at this one. This one is unbelievable. How is that even possible? It's like uh, the board just embedded the laws of physics. Ah, looks like it is remotely controlled or something like that. What do you think? Please, uh, I have wonderful other things. Leave your comments. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that guy. Oh, oh. Ha! oh my God. This is insane. This is uh, unbelievable. Wait, now what do you call this uh, wonderful Adri? Haja, look at this guy, he's still there. How is that possible even? Oh. Pumped up, it up, a read too much. Let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yo. If the very first verse of your Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, it's mistranslated. Hey everybody, I'm Dan McClellan. I'm a scholar of the Bible and religion, and the fit for this video is the death of Superman. The very first word of the Bible in Hebrew is Bereshit, which does not mean in the beginning. 
they wanted to say in the beginning, they would have written Barishona. That's in the absolute state that has the definite article. Bereshit does not have the definite article because it's not in the absolute state. Every single time it occurs in the Hebrew Bible, it is in the construct state. And this is a fancy way of saying it is in an X of Y relationship with whatever comes after. And so it's better interpreted in the beginning of God creating the heavens and the earth. Or more idiomatically in English, when God began to create the heavens and the earth. It is a temporal clause, and the next verse describes the state of affairs when God began to create the heavens and the earth. And what was that state of affairs? Well, the earth was already there, but it was welter and waste, and darkness was over the face of the depths, and God's spirit moved over the face of the waters. And then the creative act begins with light. So Genesis 1-1 is not creation ex nihilo, creation out of nothing. In fact, there's no creation ex nihilo anywhere in the Bible because that doctrine was created in the late 2nd century CE by Christians who were debating with Gnostics and other Greek thinkers about the morality of eternal matter and the rationality of the resurrection. And folks who want to bring up, well, 2 Maccabees 7 and these other passages that also talk about things being made uk ex onton, or not from what is. This reflects the Aristotelian notion that creation is a question of imposing form and function on matter that does not have it. And in Greek philosophy, matter that did not have form and function was considered to exist in the realm of non-being. It's not that it didn't exist. It just did not have form and function and therefore did not have being according to their understanding. This is not creation ex nihilo. Again, that doctrine was created by Christians in the late second century CE. And if you'd like to learn more about this, there are a handful of wonderful texts you can check out. Oh man, that's uh, interesting information. Please leave your thoughts. A rabbit is used as that symbol since ancient times until today's playboy, right? But what is the deeper meaning? Why are these two humans making up an animal? Take a look at this statue. Who is he? Immediately you realize that there is something strange about him. He has many faces carved all over his body. You see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven faces are carved on his body. Firstly, we missed observing these two faces on the sides. Secondly, we are completely missing the point of the carving itself. Look carefully and see how many animals are carved on his body. In the rabbit illusion, humans made up the animal, but this is the opposite of that. Animals make up this figure. Look at that nose. It's not a nose, but a lizard. And the lizard is shown grabbing his mustache, but the mustache is actually made of two fish. His lower lip is also possibly made of fish, but it is destroyed. And look at his chin. Is that a crab? What is a crab doing on his chin? His eyes are quite scary and staring into them can be a challenge. But his eyes, are they snails or are they turtles? His ears are unusually large and they're made of two peacocks and on top of his shoulders you can see two hooded cobras. The bodies of these two cobras are intertwined to make his dreadlock hairdo. Even his genitalia is made of something strange. Can you guess what it is? Is that a turtle sticking out its neck? And you can see the two bells at the bottom. You can see another snake here and unfortunately his legs have been destroyed and we don't know what else would Ha 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 
Nah. Humans and animals are just good vibes, you see? Hmm. Don't you agree? Because it's just incredible how they relate. And then there's this footage here. Oh, wonderful other things. Look at this. Uh, this looks like uh, this stuff. Uh, do you call them obsidic or uh, obsidic? Something like that. This stuff. If you please, if you know this name, leave some comment. Is it obsidic or bu something? Something that sounds like that, but it looks like this. And that is pointed at the top there. You see. Wonderful things. Uh, if you can get the idea of what I'm saying, please uh, leave some comments there and let's help one another. You see, because now this one is very strange. You see, it just pops out of the ground, uh, and the ground is rocky. And you wonder how this one happened. Oh, it's like cavemen had some technology that is just insane. Some stone made technology that could do this. You see, and you wonder what is this. Is this grass? Is this a stone? <laughs> I'm surprised. The possible way to control humanity is to tr to control them with religious dogma, and from henceforth, humanity would be raised on the religious doctrine of the goddess Diana to the point that they are completely manipulated and mind controlled, to the point that they don't even know the word freedom. They don't know the word liberty. The religion of the goddess Diana would be started in a portal called Pont de Alma. And Pont de Alma means bridge of the soul. This underground temple of Diana used to be used for human sacrifice. And the people in the New World Order who sacrificed Diana only knew, they only went back in history far enough to discover that Pont de Alma had been a temple used for human sacrifice. Therefore, that is where I believe they have set up an underground temple, which I do believe is used to this day. Pont de Alma means bridge of the soul. The priestesses in the Temple of Diana were called Almas. These Almas knew how to go out of body at the moment of the death of the person to whom they were ministering. They would leave the body, they would escort the soul across the river of souls and to the throne of heaven. And so in the ancient times, the followers of the goddess Diana knew that if they could make the trek to Pont de Alma, they knew that their soul would not get lost in the river of souls. And they knew that they could stay on their reincarnational cycle, which would eventually take them out of the earth plane and back to one with the goddess. So does everyone follow this? The Merovingian legend states that the one who lost the battle and went to the throne of God literally had the blessing to drive his victor crazy or to drive him mad with hauntings until he finally became subservient to the will of God. Now, why is this important in the Diana story? It is important because Diana, Princess of Wales, was a Merovingian. She was descended from King Charles II. King Charles I was the one who was defeated by Charlemagne. And after he was beheaded, Charlemagne eventually brought his son back to the throne. Well, the Spencer family is descended from this Merovingian king. Therefore, Princess Diana, a Merovingian, was murdered at Pont de Alma. So this gives her two things I mean, if she had to be murdered, she couldn't, they couldn't have chosen a better place to carry this out for two reasons. One, she went directly to the throne of God. Two, she is a Merovingian. And by rights, if, if the kings and queens of Europe believe that they are descended from Merovingian blood, then they must believe all legends. And the other Merovingian legend is that any Merovingian killed by another Merovingian at Pont de Alma becomes the spiritual head of the Merovingian dynasty.
Oh, did you know that uh, wonderful that drinks? Dude, what the f This giant, giant piece of ice is just moving towards me and taking over. It's so big and it's taking over my entire space and it's about to crash into what the f this thing is so big look at it right under my feet it's gonna be crashing into this it's way out there and it's just crashing into it it's to go to my entire fisher spot i can't believe it that's so good what the f now we have been crashing for 20 minutes now and we're splitting down the middle which is good because I'm waiting to fish I uh, just find it hard to understand this ice stuff there's something really strange going on with this guy. In the past couple of months, several videos have been popping up of what's supposed to be this mysterious substance that's been falling together with the rain or snow. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of videos so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. Check this out, this is the first video. So I was cleaning off this car and I saw these crazy little rainbows. And I was like, what are those rainbows coming from? What? Come here, look at this. Where are these rainbows coming from? What is in the snow that's causing the, the oily rainbow? Loads of people suggested that this is actually an oily substance that was already in his windshield, so he tested it in another Okay, car. different car. Gotta test the theory. What makes it do that? Now, this isn't the first time something like this happens. Actually, it's been happening all over the U.S. and also other countries like Mexico. In 2023, it happened in West Virginia and Maryland. What, the what the f is? It was all over the news. In Malaga, Spain. Some people believe that this has to do with some sort of artificial weather control system. I have to tape this. It's not raining out here. But it was. Raining out back. How is it raining in the backyard but not the front yard? Oh man, that is really strange. Extremely. Hey y'all seen this? Y'all gotta check it out, y'all. Y'all gotta check it out. Look. It's lightning coming through the firmament. Look. This is what you call sprite. Check this out, y'all. Check it out. It gets crazier. It gets more intense. Watch, watch, watch. Look at that. Does that look like water? Look at that. Does that look like water? Look. Crystals. They look like ice crystals, huh? It's like water. Look. That's water, huh? 
You see? They're like water droplets. Look at that, y'all. Those things are called Sprite, and Sprite is kind of like spirit, you know, and that's like lightning. So could that be like the Holy Spirit? It's like it's like dropping uh, a huge some something huge in water and getting a splash. It's like looking at water upside down. So could that be like Sprite or Spirit coming through the firmament, y'all? Cause you know what I'm saying, y'all know we have a firmament. Even in the Bible, it tells y'all this. So what do y'all think? It's very interesting. Have y'all ever seen that video before? But yeah, that's crazy, y'all. Let me know what you guys think about this video. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift, y'all. Peace in. Yo, wonderful adrings. There's always strange stuff happening on the sky up there, you see? I don't know, is it normal or abnormal? Or is it meant to for people to be fixed uh, that their eyes are always up, you see? I don't know how it works, but you see good adrings. We should always love one another. Be caring, forgiving, and good vibes, people, you see? Thanks for watching up to this part. Hit the like button, leave some comments there, and just be good from wherever you are, man. You see? Peace and good vibes be with you till our next fire episode that will be coming soon. We are out, man. Goodbye till next time.